hey folks, welcome back to Natural Magic Building, uh, in which I am actually currently in survival. And empty-handed, because last week I kind of accidentally threw all my crap away. <laughs> but I just got the last essence I need to make skelly seeds. So I'm going to do that real quick. Yes. Skellington seeds. I've got a couple extra cow seeds. Let's see. I think I'm actually... We're going to pull up all the dye, because I don't really need that anymore. And plant skeletons. There we go. Alright. Put all that away. Alright. Uh, before I get to work, <laughs> i got to get me some tools here. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, now, I shouldn't need a limber axe. Um hammer. Get my Manolan hammer back. Get my um, builder's wand back. Super builder's wand back. Uh, carpenter hammer. Back. And um, I think that's actually all I need for now. What the hell? Oh, that's the uh, extra trees. Carpentry hammer. Okay. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Snurf, snurf. Okay. So we're down to, I think, two rooms. Oh, uh, let me get back into creative. There we go. Something like two rooms? Yeah, two rooms. Okay. Yeah, last time we did the uh, the purple room, which ended up being kind of a an ender room, which is pretty cool. I, th I think it's pretty cool. You know what it needs, though? Um, it needs... Where's the floating candles? Green, a purple, and a black ought to do it. Can we just place those on air? No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> Too bad. That's that's pretty pretty awesome there. <laughs> like it, like it. Okay, that's that's off, but you know what? I don't care. Actually No, I don't care. Do I care? I care a little bit. I care a little bit. Oop. <laughs> Need that anyway. Um I I do care. Okay. Get a, um, let's see, do I, the historians, a uh, necromancer novice, that's fine. I've got mail. Alright, and give me one of these, and we'll put on top. Okay. Put another candle right there. Okay, now we're done. Done with this room. All done with this room. Okay, so uh, let, let's do the pink room today. Woo! Let's do the pink room. Let's go get some pink paint. Let's do that. Whew. All right. Nope. One more. There we go. Say, so, do I have anything left in the... Uh, oh, God. I've got some stuff left in there. Anything I really want? Not really. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Um, there's a yeah, there's a trash. Okay. Get me a milk bucket. Milk? No, milk. <laughs> Give me a couple of milk buckets, actually. Oh, um, need some cyan dye. that in there. Uh, give me some yellow. Give me some black. And we're okay on magenta. Okay. 
since uh, the uh, last day of my vacation. And um, I, I said I was going to stream. That never happened. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but I did uh, get some stuff done. Some other stuff. Alright, let's do a, a real pale pink here. Are you doing the color I asked you to do, or are you doing this uh, hot pink here? We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. But I uh, I did get some new you did that god awful. Okay, fine, we'll keep it. I got some new art supplies. Um, namely, I got some uh, some ink. A couple of bottles of ink. And I've been uh, doing some experimental ink wash kind of paintings with it. Doing environments for a kind of escape the room game that really okay no I don't I don't want that for a for an escape the room game that may never actually exist okay can we do this okay that's that's better is that somehow outside of parameters I guess I don't know Oh yeah, those are different. All right. Okay. And um, give me some more milk. Let's do a uh, kind of lavender here. So we're gonna make this the obnoxiously pink room. Oh yeah, I have I have been doing some drawing. Uh, didn't get around to recording any of it, but hmm, in the future that will happen as I get uh, a little more comfortable with this particular medium. I'm really digging it. I mean, ink behaves a lot like watercolors, except for two things. Number one, once it's dry, it's there forever, so you can you know go over it with another color, and you're not gonna pick up the previous color and get a bunch of mud. And number two, they're already liquid from the get-go. So you don't end up with clumps and streaks of crappy, pasty paint that hasn't quite gotten mixed in. And it's, it's cool. It's also uh, relatively cheap as art media go. Like three bucks and some odd a bottle at Texas Art Supply. All right. Check the lamps first. Ah, perfect. Actually, I'm thinking maybe not. Let's throw them around just to have some lights up ends for right now. And let me snag that. Alright, let's put it away. Okay. We need uh, some kind of curtains, I think. Obsidian tinted. Oh, there's Erebus eucalyptus. Okay. I think... Uh, let's do... Witchwood and Erebus eucalyptus. And we'll just checkerboard it. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Okay. And we'll just put these in the corners. It's not so important that we have a spawn-proof room. Because we are now going to be in peaceful for like the rest of forever. Alright, let's put these away. Give me paint brushes. I kind of like to make a an escape the room kind of game myself someday. The problem is that neither my skills nor my patience nor my free time are really up to that task. So <laughs> but I can sure as hell draw the environments. Alright, uh, let's get the light pink first. And that's pretty darn pink. 
why we couldn't do a baby pink, a pale pink, is beyond me. Alex, why are you painting the walls? You could use micro blocks for paneling. Well, I could do that, except doing that robs me of valuable furniture placing space, and this is not one of the big rooms. This is one of the skinny rooms. But I am going to use some wool micro blocks, possibly, for something else. That being curtains. We can do a curtain to separate the uh, bedroom area of this room from the uh, rest of the area of the room. And you know, I think we might do the lights like we did in the ballroom, in the disco ballroom. Uh, basically, a carpenter's block on a stick turned into glowstone and then paneled with various bits of colored glass. So this is this is the teenage girl room here. <laughs> I think we can actually go down with the ceiling one. Down with the ceilings. No, please please don't bring ceilings down. We need ceilings. All right. Yeah, let's just do this. Went to a New Year's Eve party for the first time in, God, years. Had a great time. It was a, it was a lot of fun. And I, I got home safely. There was no significant stupidity on the road. Um, I did almost run over some drunk idiot in the parking lot when I got back to the apartments. Because he was, um dancing uh, that doesn't even look like a heart that looks stupid no it doesn't it looks like a pattern is what it looks like <laughs> there we oops that was a that was not a pattern that was a mistake See, that's the difference between a happy accident and a mistake. <laughs> that being the happy accident looks good, a mistake looks like that. <laughs> now you know. Today you learned. Okay. I didn't really need to take that out of my hot bar, but... Let's get the purple. And we'll do purple all along. Okay, that's a nice purple. I like that. Kind of a dusty, dusty rose purple. Now, I think we're not going to lower the ceiling. Because then I'd have to lower the pattern, and that would be a pain in the butt. Alright, let's go along the bottom here, too. Let's, I think, go ahead and do in um, the hot pink or the purple. Um, let's do it in the purple. Now let's do it in the baby pink. The, li the lighter pink. Yep. Plop, 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 plop. Plop, plop, plop. So this is the uh, most likely second to last episode of Natural Magic. And I'm gonna miss this series. It's been a good series. It's been a fun series. Done a lot of work in this series. But it is time to move on. Alright. Okay. Now, first of all, let's get a crafting table of some sort. And of course, unfortunately, we don't have Natura. Um, so how about the Biblio craft work table? Is there anything cute and pink there? There's mahogany. There's mahogany. Um, okay, uh, carpenter's blocks. You know what y'all need to do, right? You need a carpenter's workbench is what you need. 
that's what we need. We need a carpenter's workbench because the daylight sensor is great. The flower pot's great. The door is great. But the bed is awesome. We need, um, we've got to have a crotch door. Give me that. We got to have um, a carpenter's workbench, a work table that we can skin. Ah. Uh, and I think in a later version of BiblioCraft, the paneler will do the thing with the work tables. But this is not the version of BiblioCraft with the paneler. Sorry to say. So unfortunately, um, let's do the white one. Let's do the uh, mangrove one. Alright, let's uh, put some shelving there. I think... Uh, well, we'll come back and do something with that. Say. Let's try something. Nope, that, that doesn't do the thing. Okay. Does a vanilla crafting table do the... Oh, hell. Does a vanilla crafting table do the thing? Okay, is it usable? It is not. It is decorative. That sucks. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm going to actually try real quick. Oh my. Okay. Oh. 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 That's cool. That's just plain. I like it. Okay, give me. Um, give me, give me, give me. The eucalyptus. Oh, hell, though. You gotta go up every... Okay. Oh, here, give me these back. So, just for shiggles, um... What is... Act okay. That flips it. No, that, that changes it. Okay. So, uh, just for giggles, uh, how, how... Oh! Oh my god. We could have been using these for curtains all this time. Alright, give me some, uh... Carp... Give me some carpet. Magenta and pink. Okay, cool. That, that's cool. Now can I... Okay. I'm going to have to make use of these in the future. Alright, give me a, a carpenter's bed. Make a big bed. Oh, wait, no. Because we have to... um. You have to do the thing first. On each... On, on the bed that's in the middle. We learned that last time. Okay. Now, we can add the upgrade, the king size. You can supersize it. Alright. Nope, not what I wanted. Ah, hey. Give me some mangrove. Mangrove. Plank. All right. 
All right, we're actually going to uh, rejigger this just a little bit. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, give me some pots. Crack my back here a little bit. Um, decorative flower pots. Okay, give me that. Oh, can't put them there. Okay. We can put them there, though. Now, how's that? That looks what? Actually, that looks fine just as it is. Jeez. Okay. Dirt. All right. Alright, put some dirt in there, put some dirt in there, put dirt in there, put dirt in there. Alright. And plant mega pack. Give me something pink and big. Let's try. Catches. I'm gonna have to use something that's gonna be visible. I think that's gonna be visible from the floor. Oh hells yes. Okay. And then in here, let's use the gladiolus. All right. Cool. Okay. God, that, that actually works really well. Uh, but first, I've got to have... There's not a pink-ish... Oh, Lord, no. No, no. Oh crap. Come back. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Alright, give me some uh, pink dye. I can never remember whether that gets consumed or not. We can throw that away. Because I'm going to leave the paint out. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right. Uh, give me that fancy lamp. Okay. It's not consumed. Remember that this time. Yeah, I'm, I, I will not remember that. Okay. Get a little lights here. A little light here. Okay, cool. Uh, we need a table and some seating. Let's see. Um, let's put it just right in the middle there. Put a pink tablecloth on. Whoops. Hello. My key got stuck. Alright. Give me... Seat. Oh, I need another one. Seat backs. Isn't that cute? Okay. Um. Oh, that's that's right. Um. For whatever dumb reason, whatever boneheaded reason, the dinner plate does not show up if you search for it in any eye. You have to actually go into Bibliocraft in the uh, creative tabs and hunt it down. There we go. Okay. Um, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, get rid of all these flowers. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. All right. Uh, let's get something to put on that. Get some tea. Do 
use Ganny's tea. Steamed, okay, tea, steam, okay. Cup of tea, raspberry iced tea. And give me some, let's see, some kind of cookies. Mmm, no. Um, let's see, what kind of a... Uh, Excuse me. Well, upside down. Oh, yeah, the sprinkles cake. Yep, mana cakes are cute. A thomic cake. Put some mana cakes on the uh, plate there. Oops. Oh, dear. There we go. Oh, those are cute. All right. And, um,. I think I'm also going to make... Do I still have the table? I still have the table. Let's make this the uh, the bakery room. <laughs> the sweet treats room. Okay. Need some more pink carpets. I, do these work on the bibliocraft table? No, they do not. No, they do not. <laughs> okay, it was worth a try. Give me, then, give me the thomic cake. Hmm. That I'm not crazy about, but that that looks okay. And the chocolate sprinkles cake. Does not quite look so good. Is this is this not placeable? I guess not in this version it's not. Okay. Red velvet, are you placeable? You're not. Okay. Welp. Vanilla cake it is, then. Why? Oh, snap. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, give me, then, another purple cake. It's fine. It's just fine. Give me another purple cake. That's cute. Okay. Actually, let's get these out of here. Because I said I was going to do a thing. Um... Aha! Uh -huh. Give me that. All right. All right. Okay. Garage doors, y'all are cool. But I got a better idea. Give me all this crap back. <laughs> okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. I like this better. Okay. Oops. Nope. Hey, put no. Put it where I want to put it. Don't put it where I said to put it. No. That's what I want. Alright, that's cool. And now let's throw it away. <laughs> and give me... Give me... Um, some magenta glass, I think. Magenta bubble glass. And some white glowstone. Okay. Give me the chisel. I 
think let's just do those. And right over, oops, the table. Let's put that. Let's put that. Oh, no, no. Let's put this. Hello, space. Let's put that. Oops, no, I, I wanted that. And then, okay. Oops, no, I can't do it up top. That's okay. Oop, damn. Okay. All right, let's look at paintings here real quick. Any uh, cute floral paintings? Oh, that's nice. Oh, I don't want a stack of them. <laughs> yeah, that's almost exactly a perfect color scheme, too. Oh, the problem is it's too wide. No, not too wide as in not narrow enough. It's two blocks wide. And that doesn't fit very well. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Don't need it. Don't need it. It's fine. Uh, what I will do, actually, bracket. Uh, let's get the pretty brass bracket. And a hanging basket of some sort with something cute and pink in it, or possibly cute and purple. I'll know it when I see it. Cyan flowers. Oh, maybe. Royal flowers. Pink flowers, you'll do. Okay, back to survival inventory. Er, yeah. Survival-esque inventory. Too low. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that, I think, is going to do it, folks. I think that's going to do it. Okay. Well, next time, we've got one room left to do. And then we uh, might take a little little tour of Beefnopolis, and we'll be calling it a show at that point. So I will see you all next week. Have a good week, folks. Bye-bye. For the mushrooms. And the vegan tribe isn't going to use regular cows. So they, they send them to us. They just try not to think too much about what we do to them. 